this is Sean Orley, Community Manager here at Hemlock Farms. I'm talking today about the water company and our notification of our violations. And this stems back to the beginning, which uh, was after January 11th, when DEP was on property and talked to us about low residual in the wells. Now, um, the violations that uh, we are getting for running a well for more than four hours at a low residual or low, low chlorine. Uh, there's been an investigation, DEP's been looking into this, we've also been looking into this, and uh, last week we met with DEP, they were on property again, and we've, we've come up with our uh, notifications and everything so we can get these out. So I do, I wanna let everybody know what's happening, what they are, what it means, and uh, where we go from here. So there's going to be two notifications, okay? And what this stems from, the first one is going to cover, again, these are all for low residual, but the first one's going to cover uh, a few that happened in January, January 1st, 6th, and 9th of 2024, okay? And this is when a well, in this particular well, 180, which is well 80 for us, ran for more than four hours. Uh, at a low residual, which is less than 0 0.40, okay? And this notification is for those because those are from 2024. And then the second notification uh, will cover all five wells and also cover any time that we had a violation of running the well for more than four hours uh, at a low residual, okay? In our investigation, we found 58 times in 2023 for the whole year for all five wells where uh, that low residual uh, was for more than four hours, okay? So that is what we're posting. And again, we're going to put this all in one, which is what the DEP asked us to do. Um, so what this notification is saying is that this happened. We did not notify the membership at the time. So we are doing this as an after the fact. What we should have done at the time with all of these is alert DEP and then also alert the membership of a boil water advisory, okay? I will stress to you that it's no longer necessary uh, to boil your water uh, because the problem has already been corrected, okay? Um, in this, we also had to do, had to state what we did to correct the problem uh, for 2023. Our statement is our water technicians under the guidance of our water supervisor and the senior tech since uh, January 12, 2024 have been constantly monitoring the residuals at each well. The skate alarms are now up and running properly, so our director of public works as well as the water company staff are monitoring any fluctuation or alarm that is triggered through SCADA and then rectify the problem immediately. Okay. Uh, for the well 80, what we did there is we, we replaced the chlorine pump, which was creating the problems there. So the chlorine was plump, I'm sorry, the chlorine pump was replaced, which feeds the chlorine into the water that is pumped from the well as it enters the system. So uh, that's what these are. We're going to get these out. We'll send an e-blast to everybody. Uh, DEP is instructing us on how else we need to notify the membership, and we're going to follow them uh, with all of that. I do want to talk about uh, what's happened since January 11th when DEP was on property. And in our meeting last week, we asked DEP, has there been any issues or any violations or any, anything that you have concerns about since January 11th? And they stated no. We have not had any instances of a low residual for more than four hours anytime there is. The SCADA gives us an alert, as I said here, to public works director plus the water technicians and then we address the problem either immediately or that well is shut off immediately until we can address that problem. So that is all being taken care of and it's good news that uh, since we found out about this that those issues have been addressed and we haven't had any since. So I've been asked about fines and whether there be any fines uh, with these violations and DEP has not notified us yet of any fines. Well, that's not to say that there might not be fines coming. Uh, we just have not been notified yet by the DEP about any fines for any of the violations that we've had in 2023. 
I also want to talk about some uh, videos that we're going to start shooting this week yeah. uh, and talking about the water company, talking about how things are run, uh, what they do, and what we've done to assure that we don't have these issues in the future. So those will start uh, this week and we'll run those for a while, but uh, just some good education on the water company just so everybody understands what all they do and what's going on in the water company. Um, and then I just want to reiterate to everybody, these are all the violations that we've discussed since January that the DEP told us about. Uh, again, there's going to be two notifications, one for the three in January, or um, yeah, January of 2024, and then one for all of the ones in 2023. So, and again, this is in the, after the fact. It's, this has already happened. These are not new violations. These are all from the past. Um, and... Uh, but it's a requirement that we get these out from DEP. So if you have any questions, give me a call or email me. I'm happy to talk about it and uh, go into more detail for you. So that's what I have. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night.